Percutaneous tibial nerve stimulation is a form of neuromodulation that is used to treat urinary urgency, frequency, and urgent continence. This modality has been used clinically since the year 2000 and is provided as minimally invasive therapy via a 34 gauge needle electrode in an office based setting. The posterior tibial nerve is a mixed sensory and motor nerve which originates from the spinal roots L4 to S3. Stimulation of this nerve treats overactive bladder symptoms by retrograde afferent stimulation. Tibial nerve stimulation is contraindicated in patients with pacemakers or implantable defibrillators, patients prone to excessive bleeding, or in patients with neuropathy which may affect the pelvic floor. Lastly, women who may be pregnant during treatment should not have the therapy. To perform tibial nerve stimulation, patients should be placed in a comfortable position so they may remain still during the 30-minute procedure. The insertion site must be readily accessible. Components used for tibial nerve stimulation include the stimulator device, 34 gauge needle electrode, alcohol swab, and leads. Before the procedure begins, check the battery level on the stimulator device by holding the power button for about two seconds. The insertion site is found by feeling the soft site behind the tibia, approximately five centimeters superior to the medial malleolus and two centimeters posterior to the tibia. The surface electrode is placed on the same leg as needle insertion. The insertion site is cleaned. The lead wire is connected to the stimulator. The needle should be placed at a 60 degree angle to the foot as shown here. To place the needle, first remove the stop plug in the guide tube to release the needle electrode. The electrode is inserted by gently tapping or flicking the head of the needle. After the needle pierces the skin, the guide tube is removed. The needle is then advanced. A twisting motion may make advancement more tolerable. The proper angle of insertion must be maintained during needle advancement. The needle should remain parallel to the tibia. Generally, about half of the needle will be inserted into the skin. Once the needle is in place, the needle electrode clip is placed on the electrode. The proper current setting to use during stimulation must now be determined. Press and hold the test button for two seconds. The current is then increased slowly while observing for a response to stimulation. Dorsiflexion of the greater toe, plantar flexion of the toes, or extension of the foot all represent a proper motor response. After a response is observed, the current may be decreased by one setting to allow for greater comfort. If there is no response, the needle may be repositioned slightly after pressing the stop button. Alternatively, a new needle may be tried, or if still no response, the treatment should be attempted on the contralateral leg. To start the treatment session, the therapy button is pressed. When therapy is being delivered, the remaining time is displayed on the top right corner of the stimulator. Current may be increased or decreased during the 30 minute stimulation period as necessary. A series of beeps denotes the conclusion of stimulation. The power is turned off on the stimulator. The electrode clip is removed from the needle and the needle is removed from the patient. The lead wire is disconnected from the stimulator and the components are discarded. A total of 12 weekly sessions are performed. After the 12 sessions, additional treatments may be performed at increasing intervals at the discretion of the practitioner. While the exact mechanism of neuromodulation remains unclear, tibial nerve stimulation has been proven effective in multiple clinical studies. Tibial nerve stimulation remains a safe, effective, and minimally invasive therapy for the treatment of urinary frequency, urgency, and urgent continence. Further studies will allow us to continue to evaluate this therapy and its potential to treat other conditions in the future.